guys, it's Ati. This week we're going to be going over some basic ballet vocabulary. I'm going to be teaching you the words, what they mean, and how to do them. So let's get started. All right, so ballet has five different basic positions, and that's first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. So now that you know those, we can go into actual movement. Okay, so our very first word is plie. Plie means to bend, and this can be a demi-plie or a grand plie, which just means small bend and big bend. The next word is tendu. Tendu means to stretch, and that's because you are stretching your toes and your feet on the floor. That's different than our dégagé. Dégagé means to disengage, and that's because your toes are disengaging from the floor. Moving on to our ronde de jambe. Those are three separate words, and ronde de jambe means round of the leg, and that's the direct translation from French. The next movement is développé, and développé means to develop. So you are developing your legs through a coupe, a passe, an attitude, and the full extension. After your développés, you might move on to your grand batmas, and these are your big beats. These can be done to the front, to the side, and to the back. For center in ballet class, you might go over your arabesque. Arabesque doesn't actually have a definition, it's just a position in ballet. And there's lots of different arabesques, but for today we will do first arabesque. Moving on to our turns, we'll start with our pirouette. Our pirouettes can go in different directions, but for today we will do our en dehors or our outward turn. Then you have your chenet, which means chains, because you're turning in a chain. Our next turn is our pique, and that means to prick. And that's because you're sharply putting your feet on the floor as your other foot is in passe. Moving on to our jumps. You have your saute, and saute means to jump, because that's what you're doing. You can jump in first position and second. Putting our feet into fifth, we'll try our changement, which means to change. So you switch which foot is in the front in fifth position. And lastly, for your across the floor in ballet class, you have your tombe pas de bourre. Tombe means to fall. And then we go back, side, front. This will generally go into your glissade, which means to glide and into your pas de chat, which is the step of the cat, or your saut de chat, which is the jump of the cat. And ballet class usually ends with this big, beautiful leap. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching my mini ballet class. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you learned something. If you're new to my channel, I have a new dance vlog every single Wednesday and a new choreography video the last Friday of each month. So please subscribe and join us. I'll see you guys next week.